Here we are, we're standing next to a Fujitsu 45,000 BTU Halcyon outdoor unit. And because we're talking about J-Series today and the differences between J-Series and Halcyon, we wanted to show you the differences. So this unit is capable of ha handling five indoor heads. We currently have three indoor heads tied into this 45,000 BTU unit. So each one of the each one of the ports is going to have its dedicated line set to go to the indoor head. And again, we could have two more sets of line set here. So the difference between the Halcyon and the J, each one of these will be a home run from the indoor to the outdoor. And when we go to the J series unit, this would be one line set going inside. And then we would use separation tubes. And we'll show you a video of the separation tubes. And there will also be a pink communication wire. The other difference is, you can see down here, each individual head has its own wire. The indoor heads on a Halcyon are powered from the outdoor unit. On a J-Series unit, the outdoor unit is powered separately and the indoor heads will be powered from within inside the building. So that's two, you know, a couple subtle differences between the Halcyon product line and the J-Series product line. So here we are now standing next to a J-Series. This is a three-ton J-Series model. And we're, again, we're talking about the differences, the subtle differences between the Halcyon product line and the J-Series product line. So on the J-Series product line, we're gonna come out of the unit, we're only gonna have two lines. We don't have to have, we can have multiple heads, we can go up to you know, eight, nine, 10 heads on a J-Series compared to a max of five on Halcyon. Halcyon would have all those different line sets. Here, we have one line set. In addition to that, here's the pink wire we talked about earlier. So this is the pink wire. This is uh, gonna go to X1, X2, and ground on each one of the indoor connections. And it's gonna tie into our outside unit. You can also tie into a central controller. Um, you can use this for your wall controllers, whatever you wanna do. So we'll just follow this line. So here's, here's a line set coming out again. It's only two lines. And then we're gonna get to our first indoor unit. And on our first indoor unit, we're gonna to go to what's called a separation tube. And how the separation tube works is we're gonna come in with our, our main from our outdoor. It's gonna come across. One of these takeoffs is gonna to go to the indoor unit. The other side is gonna continue on to the next indoor unit. And we will use separation tubes until we get to the end of the run. In addition to that, on the control side, this is the pink wire. So the pink wire has a blue, a white, and a ground. So what we do is best practices, you're always gonna put the blue under the same terminal on the indoor and the outdoor, and the white under the same terminal on the indoor and outdoor. And you're gonna take your grounds and you're gonna put them together and, and ground it. So in the control panel of the indoor unit, one other feature that's a little different from Halcyon to J-Series is, we have a bar right here where we're gonna address the indoor units. So because this is one line set coming out, we're gonna address this as refrigerant circuit can be zero, zero or zero, one, whichever you're most comfortable with. They come from the factory as zero, zero. We're gonna address this indoor unit with its own address. So we know if we have to hook a service tool up to the outdoor unit, we can see this indoor unit and it has its own address. So this is the first takeoff. I'll leave the refrigerant circuit at zero, zero and I'm gonna leave the indoor head at zero, zero. And as we continue down the line, okay, we would come to the next unit. This would be refrigerant circuit zero, zero. This would be indoor unit zero, one. And then we would continue down to the next unit. This would be indoor unit zero, two, but it would still be refrigerant circuit zero, zero. So any indoor unit that's tied into this line set is always gonna be on the same refrigerant circuit and then we're just gonna give each individual head its own indoor address. That's really the differences between our Halcyon product line and our J-Series product line. These indoor units will be powered from within the space. They are not gonna be powered from the outdoor unit. And they're 220 volts. Um, we give you a, a diagram that lays out the voltage and everything you're gonna need for uh, what size breaker to run the indoor units.